Which one is it? Keep fighting the good fight. Nice. Keep typing. <laughs> Don't stop. The key thing always is to try to find a group of people that cohere in a way and avoid basically it's the no douchebag policy that we've always help. You've got to find people that are genuinely good, kind people that are going to give the others the space to make mistakes and to try to put it out there because our whole job is basically trying to pick bad ideas for the most part and a couple of those are good and we got to have that safety and the only way to do that is if we're all respecting each other. That's excellent. And also for young writers who are trying to get into a writer's room, it's literally you know, write your butt off, man. Like There's a bunch of people doing the same thing that you're doing and I think what, what pushes, propels things forward is who's going to finish product. Because eventually someone's going to say, hey, I want to see your script. And you got to be ready for it. And, yeah. um, you know, we used to write before and after our day jobs um, to try and get polished scripts ready so that, you know, when that, that hand was reached out to us, that we were ready for it. And uh, and thank God that we, we were prepared. Yeah, and one last thing is that don't be afraid to ask for help. Yes. And that's both from people who are above you, because oftentimes we're just, you know, we're timid people, we don't like to do that. But ask for the help, and also ask for the help of people that are willing to tell you how bad what you did is, what the work you did is, because only by being criticized are you going to get better. And let someone see your crap draft. Yes. Because then you're going to get really great notes, and then you're going to be able to shape uh, your, your hunk of clay. And the only way you get it is you got to have the hunk of clay there, which is a finished first draft. So yes. that's always very helpful. Thank you guys.